It's amazing to look back at what was happening in the world 100 years ago. Woodrow Wilson is inaugurated as the 28th U.S. President. Albert Einstein is appointed Professor of Theoretical Physics at the Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich and works on his new Theory of Relativity. In the 1913 World Series, the Philadelphia Athletics beat the New York Giants four games to one. The Federal Reserve System is created with the signing of the Owen Glass Act, marking the first major banking reform since the Civil War. And in southern New Jersey, the Young Men's Building and Loan, a mortgage association in downtown Bridgeton, New Jersey, opens with a single office on Commerce Street, with the main purpose of granting home mortgages. This was the first version of what later became Colonial Bank FSB. With 30 years of solid and steady growth supporting the needs of Western Cumberland County, the officers of the Young Men's Building and Loan acquired deposit insurance on savings accounts, changing their name to the Young Men's Savings and Loan Association, and furthering their strong progression and reputation. In the coming decades, new government regulations allowed the Young Men's Savings and Loan Association to expand its products, and the acquisition of the Cohansic Building and Loan and the Equitable Building and Loan further fueled the bank's growth. By 1987, the bank had four locations throughout Cumberland County, with more opportunities in nearby Gloucester County beckoning. The inevitable expansion into neighboring Gloucester County started with the purchase of Mantua Building and Loan and the opening of a branch office in Sewell. These developments were key turning points for Colonial's long-term growth. Now, with a total of six locations, the bank was ready for its final transformation, and in 1994, the Board of Directors authorized the change in the bank's charter from a state-regulated savings and loan association to a federal savings bank. Colonial Bank FSB is born. I think that when you come to Colonial Bank, you experience the feeling of family. You know your banker. Uh, they're interested in you and your family, and uh, we try very hard to be competitive and meet the needs of whatever you may be coming in for at that particular time. But the Board of Directors were not done yet. In an effort to improve efficiencies and customer service, Colonial Bank FSB constructed its impressive corporate headquarters on Delcy Drive in Vineland in 2007. Today, Colonial Bank FSB is a full-service financial institution offering complete checking, savings, and lending products for consumers, businesses, and government entities throughout Cumberland and Gloucester counties. What is next for Colonial Bank is continued improvements in technology. Technology is the wave of the future. Our customers are becoming busier. They're becoming more tech savvy. They want the gadgets. They want to be able to pick up their cell phone. They want to look at their bank statement. We want to make sure they can do that. Being a good neighbor means more than just opening our doors. Being a good neighbor means being here to lend advice, to offer services, to participate, to be there as a volunteer throughout the area in every different function. Community involvement is a major reason why Colonial Bank FSB continues to be a good neighbor to local communities. The staff participates in events to support the surrounding communities and give back to charitable causes. Colonial Bank FSB is still known for its unique brand of friendly and knowledgeable customer service that has made the bank a local favorite for 100 years. As everyone knows, we were experiencing tough economic times. This will pass. I want you to know that Colonial Bank is here for you today, will be here for you tomorrow, and in the future. <laughs>